Hello everyone, welcome to a Render Spaz video tutorial and we are continuing working on our brake rotors. This is part two and this is where we're going to start to uh, render out our, um, our brake rotor and to get somewhat of a realistic result like we have here, okay, on our uh, right here. So this is a render image uh, that was rendered out uh, previously before I did this tutorial. So this is the kind of look that we're going for. We're going to go with the um, the brush metal kind of look and add some um, just very simple uh, materials, but enough that it will uh, look quite nice. Okay, uh, it looks something like this. So let's get started, and we're going to use Octane Render. So um, as everything is set up here, I can just open up the uh, viewport and get started. All right, so right now we don't see anything happening. So I'm just going to go to the shaded mode here real quick. Uh, we're not seeing anything because we don't have an environment yet. So we can go to our, our environment tab and we can now bring in a octane environment. Okay, texture. So we can go over to the uh, maps, come down, we can see there's octane render and we see we have a textured environment. So we'll just grab this guy and drop it in. Or actually, sorry, you don't have to do that. You just hit okay. <laughs> and then we have it now placed. Okay, and then um, what we need to do is bring up our material editor by hitting M, and we'll drag this guy over into the slot and make sure the method is instance. And now we see here where we have texture. All right, so what we're gonna do is bring in a uh, texture, and I have on my other screen here an HDR that I can use. So I just gotta find it here real fast, HDRI, okay. I have a custom HDR I can use. I'll drag, drag, drag and drop it in, uh, but what I need to do is clear that. Did that wrong? I got to go over to RGB image. Now that we're inside this, we can now drag our HDR into our file name. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down and we're just going to reopen this guy up. Okay. And now we have the environment in the scene here and we can start to um, texture this guy all right so we're gonna start off by adding a material and we're gonna use glossy material for this guy and um, we're gonna call this disk okay we're gonna we're not gonna worry about maps at this moment we're just going to um, we're just gonna get the materials applied to everything first to all our objects all right so what we can do with the disk is we can make sure that we darken this a bit and then we'll bring up our index I'm gonna go right actually to 8 okay something like this for now okay we'll also make a black paint metal paint okay so I'm just gonna Call this black metal. Okay. Yeah, let's bring it about three. Just drag it onto this guy here. We can also make a copy of this and call this the weld. Okay, so the weld can go here. Okay, so you can see now I got that nice edge there that we made that looks really good. This is like this piece here is welded to this. So that's very nice. And uh, we can also use, actually, we'll say weld. We're just going to call this instead. We'll just call this uh, brush metal. We can move this also onto these cylinders as well. And actually, I didn't. Uh, group these guys so I gotta do that okay I just have my actually a cylinder right now so what I'm gonna do is just come to our list here and just actually sorry not the list I'm gonna convert this to an edible poly okay and then we're going to now attach the list here and we're just gonna grab the cylinders hit attach besides this guy so we don't want cylinder one so let's just go back
Okay, and that should be good. No, we can get a quiet. Okay, and everything is working as planned here. Perfect. Okay. All right, so now everything is ready to go. We just now need to make this a little bit more interesting, and we're going to start adding some bump map, and um, we're also going to um, play with the roughness. We're going to need a texture. So I do have a texture provided, um, so I'm going to use that. It's got to go back to my projects folder here on the other screen, and um, I have a, a, a break disk bump that we can use here. So I'm going to bring up the material editor again, and then we're going to go to our disk material and we're looking for the roughness here and we're going to go to the value hit texture when i bring this up we're going to use rgb image and i'm just going to drag this bump map over okay i want to see what we're looking at here display our texture and as you can see nothing is mapped correctly so what we need to do here is we need to use a UVW map. So we can come down to our modifier stack, hit UWV, or sorry, UVW map. And once we have that, we can now, we can actually stick with the planer. Um, and we just need to kind of scale this guy up. Okay, something like this. Just get right to that edge. Okay, just so we're not, just want to be a little, just before it starts to stretch over the corners there all right <clears throat> and that should work now we're not seeing anything applied here yet so and another rule of thumb what you could do is hit control a you can select all your objects right click go to your octane properties and make sure it's on movable proxy okay and close and now what this does is you can now move this in real time. Now, before I do this, I got to refresh. Now, everything is moving in real time. So um, you don't have to keep hitting the refresh button. You can move this in real time and you can see your results. So now when I do the mapping, I'm going to see it here on the uh, on the real time. OK, so when I'm moving things around, you're going to see um, the effect happening. So this is perfect. All right, so our roughness. Um, so right now uh, we have this pretty crank. So what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to play with a little bit of the gamma and power, and I can change that. So we can pretty much play with the uh, texture in Photoshop, but for this sake, we don't really have to do that here. We can actually just change the gamma. If we uh, bring it all the way down, you can see we lose the texture. As we bring it up, we gain our texture. Everything comes back. Okay. <clears throat> so we start to see the pattern. So I'm going to play with these two, uh, but also I'm going to bring the power down because I don't want it to be fully uh, using this map for the roughness. I want just a little bit, but I want a little bit of shine also. So if we um, kind of just zoom in here, uh, we can start to see the effect. So if I bring this right down to zero, we get full shine. Uh, if I bring this back up, I just want to find a really nice... Uh, number here to, um, to get something that look pretty decent here of the uh, roughness. So I'll bring this up a bit and I'll take our gamma and I'll bring that up as well and that's going to give us some just a little bit of contrast as we bring this up. So if I do this about three we can really get these nice contrast. Um, you can see the lines coming through and the little uh, scratch marks um, Everything's looking really good here. We get some nice breakup in the reflection. So as we let this crisp up just a bit more, we can start to see kind of the um, what it's doing here to the to the material. Okay, right now we got a it's very very reflective. So we're gonna have to bring that down quite a bit. And we can do that by coming up to our um, uh, index. Okay, and we'll bring that just down a bit here. We're just gonna get something. Now maybe I'll go about three. Okay, and that's starting to look quite nice. OK, 
Okay, you can also play with a little bit of the uh, diffuse. Okay, something like this. And you can start to see, you're getting this nice details here. So in these close-up shots, we're starting to see the, um, the texture working quite nice with the, um, the roughness. So what I want to do here is I got to add a little bit more and I can't just go with um, with the roughness. We have to also add a little bit of bump to it and that's what's going to give us a little bit of texture on the material itself. So let's add a bump map to this as well and um, I'm going to go to texture. Again, come down to RGB image. And we're going to drag again the break disk in and you're going to see we're going to get full effect here, the 100% of the, um, the bump. So we're just gonna have to bring this guy quite down. But this is where it's gonna make it look very interesting. So if I do a uh, power of, let's see, um, well it's point uh, zero 0.01 now, which is not too, too bad. Okay, it's not looking too, too bad. Yeah, I'm going to stick with it. I might just uh, I play the gamma a bit. Let's crank this up a little bit to see what it does here. If it adds a little bit more detail. I don't really have it cranked up here, but I just want to see what if we get any differences here. If I go to zero, you can see it's a little bit smoother. If I bring this up, what it's doing is just crushing it. Uh, and it's making it dark. We're bringing in a lot of contrast by bringing up our gamma. Actually, no, sorry, sorry, I got that wrong. If I bring it up, we're not crushing, we're actually fading it out. Uh, but it doesn't really doing too much here. So I'm going to go back to um, 1.2. So that's what I'm going to keep it at. I'm not going to leave it at 1, I'll just leave it at uh, 1.2 or so. Okay, that number is really not doing too much. The gamma's, um, but this is actually looking quite nice. And this is pretty straightforward texture there's really not much to that so the, the disk rotor is um, is looking good so we just have to apply it to the other side as well so what we can do is grab uh, our texture here we're gonna cop well, we're gonna copy our UBW map we'll come down and we'll paste it also here okay All right, so we just need to add another texture and our bump map and some kind of um, just some grooves into this top uh, piece of where the um, the lugs nuts and the um, <clears throat> in our threads would be. So we're going to do that uh, actually using all the uh, materials or the maps from um, Octane. And uh, oh, sorry, we already have that created. We don't need to do that. We just come up here. To the black metal and we are going to start messing with our bump map here first. I can do the bump, go with the texture, and we're going to go with a noise texture. So you can see here we got a little bit of noise. Looks quite nice. Okay, and we can go to our projection. I'm going to make sure it's a cylinder. Let's get something like this. Okay, and we can also change the, let's see here, 3D transformation. Okay, and you can start to kind of, yeah, you can mess with this a bit, see what you can get out of this. But what I like to do is actually change our, the, uh, the some of the settings that really kind of mess with it. I just got to make sure our gamma comes down stuff like this and our contrast as well okay and what we can do is grab this guy this noise texture we can also add it as a texture and drag it in here as an instance so anything that I'm changing here we're also getting some cool results as well here Okay, you can invert it, 
you like and then you can just change and play with the um, we also got the scale of this as well so we can make some pretty cool interesting um, kind of like almost like the uh, there's a little bit of wear on this part here so it's a little strong right now okay so if I go to 25 back to one to see what that does okay so that's gonna sort of 25 as well or sorry what was I back at here 025 we have a little bit of a seam here so we want to be careful of that okay so I just want maybe a little bit of, uh, of wear so when you're up close you start to see the uh, the effect Okay, and actually what I'm going to do with the roughness, I'm going to clear this one out. Okay, and um, go back to a value. I don't need it there. So as you can see, we start to get this nice little wear look to it. <clears throat> and we can um, bring the specular down a bit. It doesn't need to be too high. I think that's still a little bit much for a bump map so I'm just going to um, still got that seam in there so I'm just going to bring this down just a bit more okay we don't need it too contrasty so just when you're up close you do see those little details almost like there's some a uh, little bit of wear okay and just be careful that seam you're not going to really see that okay as you look here we're just going to make sure that it's on the shot so if I take the noise uh, again the projection and just make sure that our tiling I think should be pretty good okay so as you can see um, if you want, I mean, adding a, um, sorry, I didn't want to copy, copy the noise texture here. Uh, let's bring that back up to the roughness. Let's go to texture. Let's paste that back in, but this time as a copy. And then what I can do is just bring this guy down a bit, or up, sorry. And then let's just bring back our specular. this okay and you get that nice kind of cool just a little bit of texture in there it almost looks like the uh, tire was on there was rotating or maybe there's some just some wear just something that uh, kind of gives it a little bit of texture it makes it a little bit more interesting all right so I it's pretty much uh, gonna be it for this um, wasn't too much it looks great you can use this on, uh, on your car models or you want to make it for uh, whatever type of vehicle it may be um, I think the detail is quite nice I think it does the job for quite a bit of uh, something that maybe that uh, you would be building and um, you could take this and have a nice uh, detailed rotor all right, guys, so that concludes this video. I hope you learned a lot from it, and you can take it and use it in your own projects. And uh, feel free to check out more of my tutorials at www.renderspaz.com. Also, check out some of the premium section. We do have uh, quite a bit of good content in there as well. Um, and stay tuned for more uh, upcoming tutorials. I got a lot on the plate. I'm going to get more out for you guys shortly. We're also going to be... Um, also creating a form on the site so that you can go in there and um, apply your projects and uh, share with us as well and uh, we can give you any kind of guidance that you may need so thank you guys very much and we'll catch you again also feel free leave a comment below uh, also subscribe if you haven't subscribed because there's gonna be a lot more content coming your way all right guys thank you